undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing uh, Keith, one time Thurman. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, really needing no introduction the world over, wearing white trunks with multi-color trim. As the distinguished boxing senator, he is fighting out of and proudly representing the Sarangani Brethrens in the Philippines. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 146 and one half pounds. Truly one of the renowned idols of boxing today. His record stands at 61 wins, seven losses, two draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his 28th world title appearance, here is the icon of the sport and future Hall of Famer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's legendary and only eight division champion of the world, introducing the one and only Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Chunks are good on both sides. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Again, I will caution to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. All right, here we go from MGM Grand Garden Arena. Wins coming via knockout. We are underway. Round one, scheduled for 12. Keith Thurman placed three bets on himself to knock out Manny Pacquiao in the first, second, or seventh round tonight. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall order. Uh, one thing about me when I was fighting, I never bet on myself. Although I was very confident in myself, but I never bet on myself. What do you expect early, Joe Goosen? Well, uh, you know, you're seeing what you're getting right now. Manny Pacquiao came out and he threw a, a, a right hook and he, he missed it, you know, by a half a mile, but just landed a nice left straight left hand on Thurman. And Thurman started pressing and there he goes. He's starting to cut loose. I think we're going to see a lot of back and forth action here with some good shots landed by both guys in these first few rounds. Because one of them wants to make the stare. They both want to make a stand and... And, and, and to assert their dominance over the other. So well, let's see who gets away with what. That's a good right hand by Thurman right there. And, and I was expecting Thurman to come out a little bit moving, but he you knows he's he's um, no, he's, he's going, standing his ground. Right? Yeah, he's standing his ground. He's waiting to see what happens. And I thought he was going to be more aggressive in this, but he didn't. He's not coming out aggressive. He's just watching, trying to get used to Manny Pacquiao's uh, rhythm. Ooh. It was a nice right hand, but Pacquiao comes right back. Most of the trash talk came from Keith Thurman in the weeks leading up to this bout. Pacquiao said, I'm motivated. The more he talks, I want to prove something to him. There's a nice combination by Thurman. That was a nice uh, right-left uh, uh, right he threw. Uh, Thurman did against Pacquiao, but you know Pacquiao he's smart and he's been around and he knows he's gonna try to get everything He gets touched with he's gonna try to get it back good right hand by Thurman he looks really confident at Thurman. Yeah, Thurman's coming out with the power punches early Final minute first round from Las Vegas Look at the punches landed. Ten by Thurman so far. Pacquiao with six. Ooh. Bit of a smile from Manny Pacquiao. Oh, oh down oh, goes oh. Thurman. And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. And Manny Pacquiao moved in with his legs and his hands and caught Thurman backing up. Thurman thought he could back up quick enough, but he wasn't quick enough to get it out of the reach of that punch. Thurman knocked down late in round one. Back out through that left hand of the body and that right hook right over the top that he's used for years. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. That was a wake-up shot for Thurman. Sure was. 
Well, we, we found out who asserted the dominance in the first round. It was a tug of war, and then no one out. Thurman landed 12 punches in round one. All were power punches. And then Pacquiao with the late knockdown of Keith Thurman. More chance of Manny from this sold-out crowd in Las Vegas. Thurman landed a nice little body shot along the ropes that Pacquiao shook his head saying no it, it didn't hurt it may not have hurt but it was still a nice shot by Thurman and then we saw that smile from Pacquiao just before the knockdown yeah I gotta tell you when Pacquiao starts moving those legs very quickly straight at you get out of the way yeah because that's it like that right there that's where he does it best he catches you off guard with his quick feet and hands Look, Pacquiao looks very quick right now. Can you imagine at 40 years old still bringing this type of game to a young, strong champion that's never been beaten? He will turn 41 in December. He told his trainer, Freddie Roach, I feel like I'm 22. Well, Thurman just turned southpaw for a second, and they both threw hooks, and Thurman's landed right there on Pacquiao. So this is a little switch right here, Thurman going southpaw. Switching back to right-handed again. Midway through round two, scheduled for 12. Pacquiao with a knockdown of Thurman in round one. Another good right by Pacquiao. Those were blocked by Thurman. He closed the gap. He just put his hands together, and the straight punches were blocked. Well, you're going to see a lot of that by Pacquiao throwing the bunches. I mean, punches and bunches. Yeah, and uh, you know from. From the other side, if a judge is looking at that, he's going to think that Pacquiao is scoring points on that. That's true. But the, the good thing is, is that Thurman isn't getting hit with it, so he's not getting debilitized by uh, Pacquiao. So he, he's able to keep the pressure up. He's got to keep his hands up against Pacquiao. He, Pacquiao has a great move he makes he hits him with that straight left hand of the body and then he goes upstairs really quick before he even pulls his hands off your body he's throwing that hook so it's always best to keep Pacquiao moving backwards and this is what Thurman's trying to do right now and that's what Thurman told us he said Manny's strength is punches and numbers my strength is tower punting the tower punching and accuracy Joe, from a trainer standpoint, what message would you have given Thurman after round two? Well, I, I think what he's doing right now, I think if you keep Manny backing up, you're better off than he than having Manny come forward on him. Because not only will he come straight at you, he'll eventually end up on the side of you. And you don't know where he's at, and he'll hit you from the side, and then he'll end up on another side of you. He's really magical on his feet, and he's done it to so many guys and beaten so many guys that way. But if you can keep him off balance and keep him going backwards, I think he's got a, a better chance than Manny coming forward on him. Also, you know, when Manny throws his combinations, I think that's a better time to catch him and throw punches because he's leaving himself open. Yeah, but he's so fast, and I don't disagree, but he's so fast that he's liable to sneak something in on you. I think you got to be really judicious about what you throw against Manny and when you throw him because he throws so many punches. Maybe the first two miss, but the third one's going to hit you. 61 career victories record of 61 7 and 2 a professional career that began in january of 1995 when keith thurman was six years old oh big right by pacquiao stuck thurman and that was just a jab it was a good stiff jab he's really stepping in hard on that front foot and that jab's following it and really did stun thurman for a second Nice combination by Pacquiao after Thurman had him up against the ropes. Well, Pacquiao's inviting him in. You yeah, know, he's really not trying to get away. Did it again.
Thurman tried to sweep him right hand and that really missed. Didn't touch Pacquiao and Pacquiao decides to come off the ropes. Pacquiao's controlling. Remember I said there were somebody's gonna try to take dominance of this fight and it's Pacquiao right there. He's dominating everyone. Final minute of round three. Kenny Albert, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goose, and Heidi Androll coming to you on pay-per-view from Las Vegas. Those two nice body shots from Thurman right there. He's just got to not do that occasionally. He's got to do it most of the round. Good combination by Pacquiao when he comes forward at you. Now to 30 seconds. Right jab by Pacquiao, and then Thurman comes back. Couple of body shots by Thurman. Time winding down in round three, scheduled for 12. Joe over the first three rounds. Well, now, look, I mean, he's surprising me right now. I, I can't believe he's 40 years old and still fighting like this. Let's check in with Heidi Andro. Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. Freddie, you said that Manny Pacquiao had the killer instinct back, and you loved that he was upset coming into this fight. What did you tell him going into this round, and what have you seen thus far? Uh, go after this guy, throw your, throw your combinations, you're too fast. I, I, I told Manny he's too fast, he's too quick for this guy. Go after him with your speed. He's doing great. Thanks so much, Freddie, guys. Back to you. All right, thanks, Heidi. Freddie's saying Manny is too fast for Keith Thurman. Beat him with your speed. Freddie's so confident he placed a $5,000 bet on Manny Pacquiao here in Vegas. Well, so far, Thurman's having his best round right now because he's back Manny up on the ropes and actually started to let his hands go. And, uh, you know, he's winning this round, Thurman, right now. Even though Manny's never going to stop punching, I think Thurman's taking the action so far in this half of the fight. Or this round. Work out, work out, work out. Break, break. Step back, clean. Step back. Did you have Pacquiao winning the first three rounds, Lennox? Uh, yeah, I haven't been in the first two rounds, definitely. I think Thurman needs to really step up a little bit more and throw combinations and then not allow Manny Pacquiao to get back at him. That's right. And see, he let him off the ropes. He had him he had him frozen on the ropes here, throwing combinations, and he stopped and allowed Manny to come off the ropes with the combination. Right. That's, yeah. the, that's the mistake he's making at the moment. We continue to see Pacquiao using that speed, running at Keith Thurman and throwing punches. Let's check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. Marcos. Kenny, I got a 29-27 because of the knockdown in the first round. I thought last round I gave the nod to Keith Thurman because of the body work he did. This round is very, very tight. Both guys are landing very clean, so it's up for grabs at this point. Okay, thanks very much, Marcos. Oh, right by Pacquiao catches Thurman. Pacquiao again, the aggressor. See, what Pacquiao's doing right now is giving him different angles, giving Keith Thurman different angles, so when Keith Thurman thinks he's in front of him, he's not, and he has to readjust. That was a nice little left hand by Thurman right there, but Pacquiao threw two sets of combinations with seven, eight punches in each one, and he was buzzing around Thurman like a bee, and, uh, you know, he's just impossible to keep your eye on. He's everywhere. And then he mixes up his combinations top to bottom, left to right. He's really, this is why he's such a great champion. But Thurman is still in this fight right now. And Thurman's loading up for that left hook, so Manny's be better be careful because Thurman's looking for that left hook. Fights into three periods. Rounds one through four, he said it's hard to dominate me early. Rounds five through eight, I assess my performance, see where I am, and then I try and win the fight in the championship rounds. 9 through 12. Heidi Androll is with Furman's trainer, Dan Birmingham. That's right, Kenny. Dan, you know, we talked in the fighter meetings, and he said the fifth round is where you guys start to make adjustments. What did you tell Keith Thurman coming into this fight? Just to be smart and not drop his hands inside and work his body and try to slow him down. What did he say to you? I saw him and whisper something to you. He said yes, yes. All right. Thanks so much, Dan. Guys? All right. Thanks very much, Heidi. 
This is round five, scheduled up to 12 from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Pacquiao had the advantage early over the first couple of rounds. Keep Good right hand. That's come on. Caught Pacquiao on the right. Well, Thurman's doing the right thing. He's pressing Pacquiao, not letting him get those quick feet off on him in the quick hands. And if you keep Pacquiao on the defense like he's doing, he landed a good right hand to him. And this is his round so far. I wouldn't back up a bit off him. Uh, Pacquiao, if, if I were his coach, telling him to keep the pressure on him. His hands up. That was smart. Because you don't want to drop your hands around Pacquiao. We saw another strong right from Thurman, and then the comeback. The response by Pacquiao. And Thurman's nose is bleeding a little bit. That's going to affect his breathing a little bit down the line. Well, he's got his mouth open. That's never very good. You're right. Here's Keith Thurman's wife, Priyana, attending her first boxing match. They met in Tokyo, married in Nepal. Rooting on her husband here in Las Vegas. Boy, Thurman walking straight in. He's got his hands up and elbows in, but man, he's still threading the needle, coming right up the middle. A little left hand right up with that. He did that twice to him. But Thurman's coming right back. Yeah, Thurman should come back, especially after Manny comes to his body. He's not really throwing any shots back. That's when he should swing around with that left hook. With 30 seconds left in this round, and I, I, I got it pretty even. Somebody's got to make a move here to really win this round, clearly. It was a nice little move by both guys. Boy, Thurman's face is really starting to show the effects of Manny Pacquiao's power punches. It sure is. Blood streaming down on both sides. Time winding down. Oh. Round five. Thurman just reacted very badly to that last series of punches. And he's... Yeah, he's, he's, he's no... He's... It's in big jeopardy right now because Manny Pacquiao's really taken charge in this fight. And look, at the end of that last round, Thurman was really unsteady walking back to his corner. His face is a bloody mess. They're having a hard time keeping that blood from flowing from his nose. You know, he's got to really step it up and do something drastic to, uh, to even this up. I don't know if he can do it, though. Manny looks so darn good. And who would have thought at 40 years old and just after all these fights he'd still have this type of energy and, and vibrancy and power it's amazing couple of right jabs by pacquiao career boxing champions returns to fox on august 3rd thanks for joining us tonight on both fox and pay-per-view Midway through, round six. Nice right, nice right. counter, uh huh? Zach Keith Thurman. There's Floyd Mayweather in the front row. He beat Pacquiao. Unanimous decision here back in May of 2015. And tonight, Pacquiao matches Mayweather with his 15th fight Pretty here at the MGM Grand. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell oh, you, sorry, go ahead. I'll tell you what Mayweather's thinking right now. What? These guys can't beat you. I'm going to come back and beat you and show the world I can beat you and how it's done. Well, it goes to show you how great Mayweather was. He totally diffused everything that Pacquiao's doing here tonight in his fight with him. It's pretty amazing to think about that. As good as Thurman is, uh, you know, this just looks like it's a total domination by Pacquiao. Yeah, I mean, Thurman's not even stopping the job right now. He can't even see the job. He's too quick. Thurman knocked down by Pacquiao back in round one. Oh, left by Pacquiao, and then Thurman able to duck away. Twenty seconds remaining in round six.
You know, Keith's nickname is one time, but I don't know if he's got one shot that could actually hurt Pacquiao. Well, the, the only shot that can hurt Pacquiao is if Pacquiao puts his hands down or keeps his hands down and gets caught on the chin. Thurman told us that Ben Getty always told him, don't leave it up to the judges. I'd like to honor Ben with a knockout or a TKO here tonight. This is round seven. Remember, Thurman bet on himself to knock out Pacquiao in the first, second, or seventh round. He's probably saying that. I don't think he bet on himself. No? No. Boxers don't usually do that. Well, we're at the halfway point right here, and I think it's so far been all Pacquiao. And, you know, Thurman came out hot and threw him some nice combinations, and then he, he, he takes his foot off the gas. I think he's got to give a good three-minute effort for the next, you know, six rounds here and try to win this half of the fight. Or else, ooh, oh, that's a right nice by counter. Thurman. You can tell Pacquiao wasn't happy with that. He realized he made a mistake and touched himself in the head. Yeah. Thurman slipped a, a left hand by Pacquiao and came back with a, with a nice sharp counter right hand. And then we saw another sharp right from Thurman. These are the things that Thurman has to do to be able to. For three minutes. Yeah, though. well, it's a cope with what Pacquiao's doing right now. He's got to develop something that works for him. Midway through round seven. A nice jab by Thurman and then, and then a lead left hand by Pacquiao and, and now this exchange here. So they're trading punches. Oh, good right hand left hook by Thurman. And, and Pacquiao laughs. Pretty amazing. As they were separated by the referee, Kenny Bayless. Another smile from Manny Pacquiao. See, if Thurman does this, gets through his combination, then moves away, Manny Pacquiao's going to get a little desperate. Well, I don't know if he's going to get desperate because he's so far ahead right now. In my mind, I think he's far ahead. I think he's won the majority, if not all the first six rounds. No, I'm saying he, his reaction when he gets hit, he doesn't like it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like, yeah. oh, I made a mistake. I can't make a mistake. You know, he gets upset on himself. He, well, he just got hit with another right hand left hook. I think Thurman is winning this round. Oh, good right uppercut by Manny. Boy, those punches are really... Oh, and a great right hand by Thurman. Time winding down here in round seven. I think Thurman did most of the work in this round. All right, Lennox. Let's take able to take care of the concerns of the country. So the budget on his mind, but a potential five more rounds to go here tonight in the ring before he heads back to the office. And once again, we check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. Yeah, Kenny, I got this fight tying it up a little bit. The last two rounds I gave to Keith Thurman, he's doing a good job of pushing Manny back, keeping him occupied, mixing off his offense both to the body and to the head. He has a good momentum right now, so let's see if he could uh, keep on building on it. One thing he can't do is, is he's leaning back a little bit too much with his hands down, and he might get caught with something from Manny. So Marcos has given the last two rounds on his scorecard to Keith Thurman. Look at punches landed. Very close. Referee Kenny Bayless calling to watch their heads. Kenny Bayless, one of the great referees of all time in Las Vegas. He's been on the job for decades and has been in all the biggest fights. He knows what he's looking at it, and he's staying out of this fight for the most part, which is what a great referee does. Paul Thurman to keep his punches up about 20 seconds ago. As we hit the midway point of round eight, Kenny Albert, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goose at ringside from MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Right jab there by Thurman. Couple of nice right hands by Thurman. He's got to keep the pressure on. See, he needs this half of the fight. Good left hook by Thurman, as a matter of fact. But, you know, if I'm breaking this up into two two parts, I give the first. Oh, 
could count. Oh, both countering each other. I'll give the first half, the first half of this fight to Pacquiao, whether he lost a round or two here or there. He won the first half. Thurman has got to win this half of the fight. Well, we told you about Thurman's philosophy. Breaks it down into rounds one through four, five through eight, nine through 12. Pacquiao's got such a great feel of what he needs to do in a fight. And he knew, and I'm sure he knew, and I, his corner knew he lost that last round. And I'm sure they egged him on, hey, don't lose another round like that again. Get back into this fight. And again, we see the blood coming out of the nose of Keith Thurman. Look at that left hand by Pacquiao and a counter right uppercut by Thurman. He's, they're both so quick that it's hard to keep track of what they're doing. Yeah, Pacquiao, when he throws his punches, he doesn't stay there to admire his work. He's out of there. Yeah. He's showing you a different angle. Oh, that was a little miss, but it, yeah, that one he's looking for it twice, and he found it the second time a little bit, and the third time. Time winding down here in round eight. Oh, Thurman coming on good at the end here. This could steal the round for him. Right hand in a couple of rounds. It's like a sneaky, quick right hand. Anytime you see Pacquiao making the move, he just throws it. It's a little lead right hand, yeah. And I, I want to give credit where credit's due. Uh, both corners uh, are working really well on sta staunching the flow of blood. You got uh, uh, Mike Rodriguez in Manny Paco's corner and, and Carlos Vargas in Thurman's corner, who's really doing a good job. That's a tough nosebleed to stop, but they're doing a pretty good job of it the way it looked about four or five rounds ago. This is round nine, scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao, the only eighth division champion in boxing history. He's held 12 titles. Keith Thurman, the WBA super welterweight champion. Working to defend his belt for the fourth time. Nice right hand by Thurman. He shouldn't be giving up any ground. He should be pressing this fight right now and making Pacquiao back up. Yeah, even, with you. even if Pacquiao comes at him, he shouldn't back up. He should be slipping and blocking. And being there, Pacquiao will be closer for the counter. But to take a step back, well, there was a nice little step back and a counter, but it fell short. Thurman said in the first first quarter, he said he looks at the fight in three quarters. So the first quarter went by, he would decide on what he would do for the next two quarters. What do you think he's going to do, Joe? Well, I, look, I think he should be doing what has been successful. It's been winning in rounds, and that's putting pressure on and taking it to Manny pinning him up against the ropes and throwing combinations. That's what's been winning in the rounds. Backing up has not been winning in the rounds. Thurman knocked down by Pacquiao late in round one. There one minute is. remaining in this ninth round. So he took a chance right there, went in there, and threw a nice four or five punch combination and landed him. That's scoring points. That's winning. That's going to win the round for you on the judges' scorecards if you do that often enough. Good right hand by Thurman right there. There you go, good body shot. This is where he's doing his best work. This is when he's backing Pacquiao up. Nice combination by Thurman oh, and yeah. a right hook. He landed a right hand and a good hook. See? Now the response by Manny Pacquiao. See, Manny knows one thing. When he loses a set, a combination set, that he's got to get it back. And even it up on the judges' scorecards. And that's what he's doing right now. Good right to the body by Keith Thurman and uppercut at the same time. I think Thurman pulled that round out. Let's check back in with Chris Myers. Chris. It's in most of their recent fights. Pacquiao in eight of his last nine. Thurman in five of his last six. This is round 10, scheduled for 12. Well, here we go. So, I, you know, uh, punch high for uh, for Thurman in that last round. He's got Pacquiao backing up. Look, I mean, it's bound to happen. I mean, maybe the age is ca catching up right now with Pacquiao these last couple of rounds, and Thurman's uh, youth is paying off for him. He's, he, he looks the more fresh right now. You just can't ever underestimate Pacquiao. He can hurt you at any time. But... Thurman was taking the play away from him the last couple rounds, and he's got to keep doing it like that. He's the one landing punches right now. 
Yeah, he's got to get Pacquiao thinking about defense, not offense. That's right. Again, we check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. Kenny, Keith Thurman has been doing a, a very good job of scoring with this jab. We saw the last round. He won that, and it's because I felt he worked the jab, was able to keep Manny at the distance and keep him occupied, keep him thinking so he can't launch his offense. Right now, I have an 86 to 84 Manny Pacquiao, but it's tightening up. All right, so Marcos has awarded Thurman three of the last four rounds. A look at the total jabs landed and thrown. Pacquiao 23%, Thurman at just 14%. Well, you know, I, I, I don't disagree with those numbers because Pacquiao, wherever he goes, he's always flicking out his right hand. That always precedes, and, and oh boy, there's a headbutt. Either that or a punch, but it may have been a headbutt. I missed it. Oh. Uh, Now, Kenny Bayless will step in between the fighters. But see, Thurman, Thurman kind of did himself a disservice. He let Pacquiao come in and take control of this round right from the beginning. He went backwards. There's another headbutt right there as Thurman threw that right uppercut to the belly of Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's got Thurman on the run right now, and he's got him hurt in a way that uh, he's, he's flinching a little bit. But here comes Thurman with a good left hook. I got a right. Follow off the left hook with a right hook for the face of Pacquiao. Thurman's putting his head down for some reason. I don't yeah. know if he's got a rib shot or he's got a pain or in his body or something. Yeah, that body language, that's what I was talking about earlier. He, there's something that's bothering him right now. Ten seconds. And Thurman's giving up ground. That's not good. Okay, there you go, but... Again, Pacquiao stepped back and got out of the way. You don't do that and when you get a about, headbutt. Yeah, it's a body shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, you heard Dan Birmingham tell him, you got to get him on the rope. So what we've been saying and advising, Dan Birmingham has been saying and advising, but Thurman has not been following the instructions completely. Let's see if he can do it this round. He's, Dan Birmingham was very adamant that he had to get him on the ropes and really do some damage. So let's see. This is round 11, scheduled for 12 in Las Vegas on pay-per-view. Thurman has landed more punches than Pacquiao, but how about the effectiveness of those punches, Lance? Uh, well, I would say Pacquiao has more, two more effective punches. Pacquiao knocked down Thurman back in round one. Pacquiao's, Two minutes remaining here in round 11. If you notice, Pacquiao's going with that left hand down to the rib cage. He's looking for that little uppercut right there. I think he knows he hurt him there earlier uh, in that last round, and he's going back to it. Good left hook, right hand by Thurman. Good uppercut by Thurman. Yeah, but I, if we're talking about the punch stats, I think, without a doubt, Pacquiao's punches have been much more devastating and uh, debilitating. He's uh, drawn blood. He's doubled Thurman over. I think he's the harder puncher, no doubt. Yeah, the fact that Thurman got hurt in that last round, that's kind of slowed him down in this round. Oh, good, good right hand. hand by Thurman. Yeah, he stepped into it when he threw that right hand. Yes, he did. Right now, Pacquiao able to dance away. But he's got to capitalize on it. Now he's got to throw not only the right hand, but that left hook. Look at Pacquiao. He's, he's such a monster. He just comes right back. He takes whatever you give him. This is why he's one of the greatest. And Thurman's reacting to anything Pacquiao is throwing right now. So he, he's on a defensive mode, especially when Pacquiao throws punches. He's on a defensive mode. He's trying to get out of there. When he should be looking for a way back, he should be looking to answer the call, throw a punch back. 30 seconds remaining in round 11. Oh, left by Pacquiao. Oh, 
Final seconds, round 11. Come on. He's smart. Dan Birmingham telling Keith Thurman, let it all go. We also heard Freddie Roach chatting with Manny Pacquiao, the only eight division champ in boxing history. This is the 12th and final round. The reason Birmingham said to Thurman, let it all go, because he knows he's not winning the fight. Even though he's been in the fight, he's had great moments in the fight. He just happens to be up one of the great legendary fighters of all time, who at 40 years old can still deal with 30 year old champions that have never been beaten before. That being said, Birmingham knows that Keith Thurman needs a knockout to win this fight. I agree with that. Manny Pacquiao turned pro in January of 95. Keith Thurman was six years old. Pacquiao won his first title in 1998 in the flyweight division at the age of 19. Here he is 21 years later. He will turn 41 in December. See, Pacquiao's doing the right thing right now. He knows it's the last round. Why take that chance? Right. He should just move around and, or definitely be protected and protect himself and not get hit with no steady punches. It's not like he won't fight this round because he is fighting this round, but he's not going to try to go for a knockout because he doesn't need one. Usually, usually you know, in Keith Thurman's point of view, he's going to try to do it, but whether he's got enough gas in, in, in the, the tank to be able to do it. Oh, good luck down by back down. We hit the midway point of round 12. The only knockdown came back in round one. Pacquiao knocking down Thurman late in the round. That's where Thurman should have gone to work right there. He led Pacquiao right back off the ropes. 